Hey, Jason here. Today's video, we're doing a book review for the first time in a while. I used to do these all the time, haven't done one in a while, but we're going to start these again. And today I'm going to review the book Big Money Energy by Ryan Serhant. Before I get to that though, I need to let you know you can get the series of the podcast and you around the world for free on all major podcasting platforms, Stitcher, Anchor, SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes, and more. You can get this part of the I Love Value Investing podcast anywhere in the world for free. And if you like this video and our other videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we release a new video. We're releasing videos all the time. Okay, I used to do these all the time. I stopped. I don't really remember why I stopped. But today, we're going to do the first book review in a while. I want to make sure I get the full title. We're going to review Big Money Energy, How to Rule at Work, Dominate at Life, and Make Millions by Ryan Serhant. Okay, I recently read this book uh, on my Amazon Audible app, um, which is an uh, audiobook platform on um, my phone uh, through Amazon. And this book is fantastic. So last year I've been spending a lot of time working on my mindset, my confidence, my um, those kind of things, I guess. I, I don't really know how to put it other than that. Um, and this book was fantastic. Highly recommend this book. Um, if you don't know who Ryan Serhan is, I didn't before this book. Um, he is, I think, the main guy. Again, I, I don't know. I don't watch the show. But he's the main, uh, one of the main guys on Million Dollar List in New York. He has his own TV show. He's probably one of, or uh, used to be, again, he, uh, towards the end of the book, I'm not going to ruin anything for you, but <laughs> um, something changes, and towards the end of the book, he, at one point, was one of the biggest real estate agents in the world. Again, I don't know if he still is because the numbers aren't updated. But in the book, he talks about how he went from, how he grew himself from, in his estimation, a chubby kid with acne who had no friends, into a worldwide personality on TV, one of the best, or at least the top earning real estate brokers in the entire world, um, selling, I think in the book, that highest property he sold was $40 million, I think. Um, so how he went from that in school and after school, he's a failed actor on um, his own admission. Um, he wanted to be an actor. He moved from, I think he said he uh, lived in a farm in um, outside of Boston to New York to become an actor. He failed at that, so he had to figure out some way, and he was starting. <laughs> um, and I don't know if he was literally starting, but in the book he talks about how he was pretty much out of money and he had to figure out a way to make money so he went into real estate um, to make money struggled with that for a while and then he made a massive transformation in his life and he goes through this transformation and he talks about not only what he did differently um, kind of mentally to to make these changes happen but how that has sustained him and propelled him on his level he, he's still on and into the goals and the dreams he wants to reach um, it's resonated with me a lot because I've been doing, again, a lot of work on my mindset, confidence, um, capabilities, all that kind of stuff over the last year or so as well. So it really resonated with me. Some specifics in the book is, that he talks about is, um, actually, I'll go over, I'm, again, I'm not going to ruin the book for you, but there's one concept I do want to talk about is his concept of a thousand minutes in a day. Everybody has a thousand minutes in a day, even Warren Buffett, even uh, Mark Zuckerberg, Jeff Bezos, you, me, we all have the same thousands, thousand or so minutes in a day outside of eating, showering, spending time with family, kids, all that stuff, sleeping. You have about a thousand minutes every day to make the most of your day to pro um, propel you towards your goals. I thought that was incredibly powerful um, way to think of things because I track my time every day to figure out how to kind of optimize things, how to get better at things, how to prove things where I'm spending too much time, where I'm not spending enough time, um, all that stuff. But the concept, the way he put it, a thousand minutes a day, I've never really thought about because the way he put it is, let's say you have a bad 30 minutes, something bad happens, um, you lose a client, you lose a job, um, you get some bad news health-wise about you or your loved ones. Yes, that's going to put you off um, and could make it a quote unquote bad day. But should you let that happen? 
should you let 30 minutes or an hour of bad news, bad effort, lost job, whatever, affect your entire day? In his estimation, and again, I, I agree with this, no. The, and the metaphor he, he put was very powerful. Would you, let's say $1,000 or 1,000 minutes is equal to $1,000. If you had, if you lost $30 or um, if you lost $30, so 30 minutes or $60, 60 minutes out of your day and they were quote unquote bad, would that means you should throw away the rest of the 970 or so minutes? the 940 or so minutes. That was very powerful um, to me thinking about that because we all have bad days. We all have stuff going on. We have kids. We all have stuff that kind of goes awry every day, fighting fires, all that. Um, but his point and the way he put that was to not let that happen. Um, and again, he, he talks about that it's not easy and it's something you have to work at and all that. And, um, that I, I, I again, I just read the book last week, but I, I find that's true as well as yes, I, I get over stuff, get over and kind of can work through things a lot easier than I used to be able to, but it's still hard to do so. Um, but thinking about that concept of throwing away the rest of your day or the rest of your thousand dollars for 30 minutes or 60 minutes of a quote unquote bad day as a numbers guy, as a financial guy, as a value investing guy, that makes perfect sense to me. Um, so is it going to make it easy? No. Is it mean I'm never going to have bad days again? No. Um, and he have, he admits that in the book that this doesn't isn't going to alleviate, alleviate all your problems. Um, but this concept is powerful to think about to kind of help propel you in the right direction to spend more of your time doing the good things, even when bad things come up. Because again, bad things always come up. Um, that was one of the most powerful concepts in the book to me and just the mindset and treating yourself better and taking more responsibility for yourself and taking things more in control and all of that. The book is fantastic. Highly recommend it. Um, why are we, why are we um, doing this today? Why are we doing another book review today for the first time in a long time? Because behind the scenes, we've been reworking our um, display. Oh, I just read the word display on my computer. So let me get that out of the way. Here's the book. Again, I listened to the audiobook. He uh, narrates it himself. I thought he was fantastic, <laughs> even though he's not a narrator. I thought he was very fantastic because he got his personality into it and he went all in. Um, so that's what I did. But again, I highly recommend this book. I am a Amazon affiliate. So if you get this book or any other book um, on the recommended resources page, which I'm about to show you, um, I will get a small commission, but I only recommend books that I've actually read and actually enjoy and learn from and think other people will learn from. So there is the book. Again, highly recommend it. Fantastic book. So fantastic. I plan on rereading it several times at some point. So here is why we're here today as well, is to announce the relaunch of our recommended resources page. This for at least five years, probably longer, has been the number one viewed page on our website. And we recently redid it, um, made it a lot more visually appealing, put the links in, um, put pictures in, all that. So there's also websites in here, there's books, um, there's categories, there's different categories. I read a lot. <laughs> um, if you've been a part of this blog for a while now, you know I typically read um, anywhere between 50 and 75 books a year. And when I say read, I read actual hardcover books, uh, paperback books, Kindle books, um, Audible books as well, um, along with other stuff I've learned from. So this, these are the best books I've learned from in the last 10, 15 years. Um, again, in various categories, we've got finance, we've got value investing, we've got biographies, we've got self-help um, and personal development, we've got business strategy, we've got all... These are, again, some of the best books I've ever read. And this book will be put in here by my team, Psychology, Self-Development, uh, Self-Improvement, Self-Development. That will be put in this category um, by my team here shortly. It's not in there yet because I just finished it. But if you love reading, if you love learning, these are some of the best books I've ever read from. 
or ever learn from and highly recommend them all to you. Again, I only read books or only recommend books that I've actually read. Um, all these books on here I've read, all these resources I've learned from, um, I've actually learned from. However, I will get a small commission again. Oops, what's happening here? There we go. I'm messing up over here. Um, I will get a small commission um, if you buy a book through any of the Amazon links that are here. But again, I've only read these books. I've read these books, every single one on here, um, and recommend them. They will help you become a far better, not only investor, far better person, uh, make more money in your career, um, help you be a better parent, husband, spouse, person. I not only enjoy reading, I think it's enormously powerful um, in learning of all kinds, as you guys can hopefully tell from <laughs> the various things we've done. I'm learning constantly from books, videos, courses, all that. So I'm a huge proponent of self-education, and these are some of the best books on this page, on this newly redone page, recommended resources page, um, that I highly recommend to you. So if you haven't been a part of this blog for a while, how do you get to this page? So you go from here on the home page of the blog, and hopefully it comes up. There we go. It's loading finally. <laughs> Sorry, every time I um, share my screen when I'm doing a video, it uh, makes my computer lag enormously. So hover over resources, drag down to recommend resources page, and you can go from there. Um, and then you can see we got back to here. So to see all these books. Um, again, this is not just in value investing and finance, although there are a lot of those on here as well. Um, Self-development, psychology, business history, financial history, case studies, um, competitive advantages, strategic stuff, all that is on here. Uh, so if you love learning, I highly recommend go visiting our newly relaunched um, recommended resources page that uh, me and my team have been working on diligently behind the scenes. We're going to start doing book reviews again. Again, I can't remember why I stopped. Uh, in the first place because I haven't stopped reading and learning. Um, but we're going to start doing those again. We're going to do giveaways. We used to do giveaways again on books from my personal library that I've read. I'm going to give away to you. We're going to do all that kind of stuff. Um, and again, make sure to check out the recommended resources page for at least the five, last five to seven years, the number one view page every single year on the website. And we just made it a lot better to look at. So I hope you um, found this useful. Make sure to pick up the book. Uh, big money injury if you want to learn how to improve your mindset, improve your confidence, um, reach your goals, all that stuff. Again, highly recommend the book. And if you do so, buy that book or any of the books from our Amazon links. Again, we will get a small commission, but I only recommend uh, books I've actually read and that I actually enjoyed and think people will find useful. So um, if you've read Big Money and Energy, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, did I miss something? Is there something that you loved about the book that I didn't talk about that I that I that I should have talked about. Um, what were your favorite thoughts on the book? Um, if you read it, uh, if you're looking for more specific help from me on how to become a better investor faster, make sure to check out our free resources below as well. Um, you can get our five free gifts. Uh, you can get a free PDF copy of my book, How to Value Invest. You can also get a copy of our guide, Seven Tips to Picking Great Stocks and Three Times You Must Sell. If you're looking for more specific help from me on how to become a better investor, make sure to check out the information on our newly relaunched masterclass uh, below this link as well. But until next time, love to hear your thoughts on Big Money Energy if you've read it. Um, and make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we release a new video. But until next time, thanks. Have a great day. Talk soon.